like an hour and a half ago so it's like really cold but still pretty good welcome everyone to today's video today we're going to see if the canon ADD is relevant in 2021 the canon ADD came out in 2016 which was approximately eight years ago <laughs> I that's not how math works actually about five years ago yes hello so when the Canon ADD came out, it cost about $1,200, but it is significantly cheaper now. So if you get this on Amazon, it's going to cost around $850 if that's brand new. But if you get it cheap, you should be able to get it even cheaper than that. I recommend buying cameras used. It's honestly usually the way to go. You can get fantastic prices if you go used. And of course, that has its risks with it, but I've found that it's usually worth it to go with used cameras. And used, you can get them for around five, dollars $600 that is what they're listed for on eBay. So in the realm of cameras, pretty cheap. So this is a 24 megapixel camera with a dual autofocus and an APS-C size sensor. So this is not a full frame camera, so it will not do as good in low light. This camera right here has 45 autofocus points, so that blows its younger brother, the Canon 70D, out of the water. The Canon 70D has 19 autofocus points. It also has seven frames per second continuous shooting, and the body is also weather resistant. And it even has Wi-Fi so that you can connect to your phone, although what I have found with the Canon app has not been great. So how easy is this thing to use? Well, if you're used to using other Canon cameras, and you're already used to the system, it's gonna be really easy. But even if you're coming into this from having no Canon experience, it is not that hard to figure out. Canon lays out their settings very simply and very easily. And this thing also shoots 1080 at 60 frames per second as the Canon 70D would only shoot 1080 at 30 frames per second. So it has an upgrade there. So I also did a video comparison between the Canon 70D, which I did a review on a little while back. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out right here. But here's a little side by side you can pause that if you want to and look over that and see if you can find the difference this is with the same settings the same lens uh, at the same location so basically everything is the same except for the different cameras so you can nitpick that and see if you can figure out the differences So that brings us back to our original question. Is this Canon ADD still relevant in 2021, five years after it first came out? And I would say the answer is absolutely yes. This one definitely passes the relevant test. This is still such a great DSLR, especially for the price. Honestly, I don't know if you're gonna beat it for the price. Uh, if you wanna get the Canon 70D, it's a little cheaper, but honestly, at this point, it may just be worth it to go ahead and get the upgrade. That said, make your own decision, do research on the different cameras, but this is a fantastic, solid DSLR. So anyway, guys, thank you everyone for watching. I totally recommend getting yourself a Canon ADD if you're looking in the budget DSLR range. It's a fantastic camera for both video and picture. You really can't go wrong with this camera. I love it and fully back it. So thank you everyone for watching and I will see you all next week. <laughs>